Okay, test one of the cold gas thruster. Um, it runs on air. I've got uh, two valves to the 116th orifice hooked up. Uh, right now, only one of them is hooked up to my power supply. The other one has a connector, and I haven't been able to find the mate for it, and I don't want to cut that yet. Um, pressure gauge right there, which should tell me what the chamber pressure is. Um, this is going to be my load cell. It'll tell me how much thrust it's producing. Um, so right now I'm just going to start with another check to make sure the valve opens when I turn on the power supply. Yep, that opened. Make sure that's working. I have an air compressor over here with uh, 150 PSI in the tank. It is um, unregulated, so I'm going to start by slowly opening up um, these tubes should be rated for about 150 PSI by just slowly opening up this valve and letting it flow up to the valves on the thruster. Looks like there's a big leak there. Okay, I think that's fixed. There's a little leak somewhere. But it looks like they are doing all right at 150 PSI. Hmm, seems like it's still leaking, but it's not leaking very fast, so I'm going to ignore that for now, um, and then I will deal with it later. Okay, so now I'm going to do the first test firing of the cold gas thruster, and see what happens. I don't expect the pressure to rise very, very high or produce very much thrust, let me zero that again. Now we're ready to go. Three, two, one. Wow, it was a lot more successful than I was expecting. That was great.